Chapter Nine of Bizarre by Lawton McCall. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Nick Bulka. Snowy Bosoms. At the risk of seeming churlish, a veritable outcast from society, I confess that I have no great fondness for snowy bosoms. I realize that they are generally considered beautiful and that their virgin whiteness is the embodiment of unyielding purity. And yet I cannot but prefer the more comfortable negligee shirt. If only they could be soft-boiled, I would so appreciate a three-minute one. I know it would sit better on the stomach. The white could be firm enough to hold together, and yet not so much as to require a knife to break into it. Gala chemises that approached this ideal did appear several years ago. Their front pieces were encrusted with a swarm of very young tucks, which rendered them quite docile. But these gentle, easy-going garments, with their pliant pleats and amenable buttonholes, could not survive. They were, alas, too soft. They lacked the stoicism of starch. They could not hold their own against the sterner-fibred, armored breastworks. And so we men of today, when we go to perform our evening devotions to the ladies, have upon us the same old white plague. I might find some consolation in the fact that my aversion to it is shared by all laundries. Yes, the laundry is my avenger. With Machiavellian guile, it invites shirts seeks them, welcomes them, professes a yearning passion for them, and then subtly destroys them in secret. Commit an insufferable new stud-smasher to a laundry, and note the fate that overtakes it. See what happens to its bold front. A week later it will be brought back to you with its spirit quite broken, and its tail between its sleeves and held in subjection by a squad of menacing pins. The moment you rend the veil of wax paper with which they have discreetly concealed its destitution, you are amazed to find how it has aged in one short week. It has become like the sear and yellow leaf. There are crow's feet at the corners of its buttonholes. It is so weak that they have had to send it on a pasteboard stretcher to keep it from going all to pieces. Your erstwhile festive buckler now looks more like the bosom of Abraham. End of chapter 9